park getting a big makeover. It comes with some changes, including chopping down dozens of mature trees. It's part of a big plan approved by city council after feedback from people in East Tennessee. One group loves the park, doesn't want these trees to come down. They're sharing their thoughts with our Ashley Bowley. You found there's a wide variety of opinion on what's going in and what has to come out. Yeah, Ted, that's absolutely right. I talked with about a dozen people who have different opinions. Some say they didn't even notice the X's on the trees. Others say that they want these trees to stay standing no matter what. I hate to see them go. I'm totally against cutting down any trees unless it's absolutely necessary. Almost daily, Kurt Gibson and Dania Jackson walk at Lakeshore Park, the nearly 200 acre outdoor space. They've maintained this park beautifully. It's a great place to walk your dog. Trees for shade everywhere. Plenty of times I, I lean up against them too when I'm a little tired of walking. But recently they've noticed X's spray painted on them. That means they'll be cut down. Well, this is one of the nicest parks I've ever been to, especially for the city at size, and I don't mind improvements, but I do mind cutting the trees. It's because of renovations. A spokesperson for the Lakeshore Park Conservancy says the loss of some trees is to allow for additional recreation spaces and improving roads. Plus, disease is an issue. A news release read in part, the Conservancy Board and the Phase 2 design team are dedicated to preserving as many trees as possible and minimizing the number of trees removed during the construction process. The expansions they've done so far are fantastic, so based upon the history, uh, it'll probably be okay. I'm just, you know, totally against cutting down anything that doesn't need to be cut down. The Conservancy is expecting to add about 700 more trees to offset the ones that will be taken down. All right, a lot of things being taken out of the park. Remind us again, Ashley, what is going into the park? What's new? Yeah, we're going to be relocating those baseball fields, adding a pickleball court, even an outdoor basketball court, as well as some other projects happening as well. All of this set to be completed by January 2024. All right, Ashley Bully, thanks.